The Eagles were on bye this week, but Howie Roseman was still making moves. Uh, they acquire uh, defensive end Robert Quinn from the Chicago Bears in exchange for just a fourth-round pick. And although Robert Quinn's only got one sack this season, he's still coming off a campaign last the year before where he had 18 and a half sacks. So he's definitely got some juice left in the tank. And for the Eagles, this just feels like a move that is just cherry on top to a great offseason and more smart acquisitions by Howie Roseman, who finally pulled his head out of his ass, I think. We'll see by the time the draft rolls around. And it's like, holy shit, like the Eagles are legit. They have the, we said this at the beginning of the season, they have the right mix of veteran and youth, veteran leadership and youth to really make a run in the playoffs and hand, and stay composed in the playoffs. And I think Robert Quinn's another guy that's hungry to win a title. And he's only going to help guys like Jordan Davis and Milton Williams and some of these younger guys get better at pass rushing. So, and also it can never hurt to have more pass rushers and put some more pressure on quarterbacks like Rodgers and Stafford and Brady who kind of crum- have been crumpling under pressure this season. So I, I'm ecstatic. Once again, Howie Roseman does it. Well, if, and is it true that the, the, the bears are going to eat the, sal- the majority of his salary too? I have not seen that. I, that's even, I heard that. And like something like where someone, and that's what I was trying to read real quick to find out. Like if it's true that they're going to, um, that, 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 that if that's the truth that they're going to, they were going to um, eat like a majority of what he had left. I'm reading the ESPN article right now. Uh, Quinn, those statistics. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. That's what I was reading too. Okay. He carries an 18.237 million cap hit for 2023 and has 7.9 remaining of his 2.8 base salary. So maybe they're going to, Maybe they're going to eat the rest of this year is what it is. Yeah, so they'll pay. Um, yeah, so the Bears. So the Eagles will have to pay that extra, was it, 5.7? So the Bears are covering like 50 to 60% of it. But how, So he signed a five-year, $70 million deal in April 2020, so – 2020, 2021, 2022. He's still got three. He's still got two years after this, doesn't he? I'm pulling it up on the Spotrack page right now. Yes, he has two more years of cap hits of 14 million next season and then 13 million the following year. And then he becomes an unrestricted free agent. Okay. Okay. So obviously, the 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 cap hit is going to be something that's going to have to be looked at. Like eventually, that that might become a little bit of an issue that might prevent something. But on the face of it, only giving up a fourth round pick for a veteran pass rusher who, throughout his career, has proven that he can get to the quarterback. He will come in, hopefully, stay healthy, and it's obviously there to help replace Barnett, um, yeah. who most Philly, Philadelphia Eagles fans was never someone that we ever truly fell in love with. And then again, it took a while to get to fall in love with Brandon Graham, but I think Brandon Graham is still at least produced to a degree. Whereas I feel like Barnett has just never, ever lived up to it and has always been injured. I mean, the, mo- so, the, the thing Barnett is most known for is recovering the strip sack fumble by right. Brandon Graham in the Super Bowl. And that's about it. Like, you know what I mean? So like, you gave him a fourth round pick for a guy like you said who had 18 and a half sacks what a year or two ago. Yeah, not not this season or last season. Yeah. So cool. He only has one, but like the Bears are shit. Yeah, they played a good game on Monday, but he's now joining a team where he's A, not expected to be the star. B has help throughout A throughout the entire defensive line. Like secondary and everything that will, will, you know, he knows that it's not all on him just to get to the deep quarterback or they're screwed. Like we have a good secondary. We finally have some linebackers that can hang in coverage. Not to mention we have linebackers that can rush a passer like Hassan Reddick. You know, you have Milton Williams, you have Javon Hargrave, 
you have Teron Jackson, you have Josh Sweat, you have Fletcher Cox, you have all these guys that are there. And then on top of it, you have Jordan um, Davis, who really we haven't yet seen blossom, but I think the season goes on uh, that he's just going to get more and more time and we're going to really need him later in the life. And this is just an added bonus. It's awesome. It's fantastic. It's, it's a luxury. Like- and I just hope that, like, I hope, like, because you can see this blow up on teams' faces where it's like they got the guy and he never panned out. But then you have situations like where it did for the Rams last year where getting Bob Miller ultimately helped them win the Super Bowl. And I hope that that's what this is for us. And then we also get to hold on to him. And then I hope that he makes it worth it for the next two years. Or if not, I trust in Howie to figure out a way to get rid of him.